My name is Jean Zaid, and obviously my real name was Najib, and I can uh, Americanized it and uh, changed it legally to Jean H. Zaid. And your current position, Jean? I'm the chief executive officer of the pharmaceutical company Genzada. I came to the United States to go to school and um, as I mentioned in another conversation that I was born in a Palestinian refugee camp and the opportunities to be able to come to America were um, extremely difficult for someone uh, from my background. But I always had a dream of coming to the United States and I pursued it and I succeeded in to come into the U.S. I uh, learned about a need in the uh, oil and gas industry that there hasn't been a lot of inventions in that uh, industry. So I thought, okay, what, what is needed out there? So I did some research and the, one individual said to me, if you put uh, an oil soluble product with a water soluble product and made a combination of them, I think you can enter the market fairly well. So I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll start working on that. So I did. I built a, a lab in the garage, started working on those in the middle of the night and weekends, holidays, what have you. And uh, within six months, I had the product perfected. When the guy told me, our scientists have been working on this for five years and they weren't able to get it done. So I finished it within six months, applied for a patent, offered it to uh, the company I was working for. I told them I developed this, and since I'm an employee here, it is your property, so it's up to you if you guys want this. He said, we're not in the oil and gas business. It's all yours, no problem. So I got that permission from them that I will own that patent. And soon after that, I uh, resigned my position and started the company and called on customers. Uh, the product worked and people would order more than one drum, so I just took off. So I would make another product and another product and introduce it to the market. Most of them are anti-corrosion um, and uh, scale inhibition, a very complex chemistry that required a lot of time and a lot of effort, you know, to get it done and take it from the laboratory scale into uh, commercial production. I think 45 patents were done for uh, the oil and gas and a lot of them we did them so they can be applicable to that industry and that helped us you know uh, uh, compete in a very competitive uh, business which is the oil and gas uh, chemical world if you will. So uh, on one of my trips to Israel, um, went to see family, I ran into an old timer over there and he said, you know, hey, I heard you're a chemist. You know, this plant here uh, called Luf or Arum Palestinum, it works on, uh, on AIDS. So you can take that to the United States and boil it and this is how you do that. I said, okay. So I took it back here, brought a sample back with me and uh, I cooked it in the lab and tested it and I, it didn't work on AIDS. I don't know where he got that information from, but I uh, thought it might work on cancer because that is the, what people talk about in the old country about stuff like this. Brought that and mixed it with other things and tested it uh, in vitro at KU and I found out, wow, this is looking very good. So I started making it into a tea, and the tea was awful tasting, but people heard about it, and they said, would like to try it on cancer. I said, okay, try it on cancer. So we continued to do this uh, at KU, and we knew that people that are taking the tea are uh, benefiting from it, so I need to identify those ingredients that are responsible for that efficacy. 
So I sent them a sample, they analyzed it, and they came back to me. They told me what the ingredients are in the plant and things like that. And it was, um, but it took a long time. So I purchased the instruments and I started doing my own extraction and, and analyses and things like that. And we finally identified the three main components in those plants that I put. And when they were in the tea, I made it more concentrated so it can have more efficacy to it. And sure enough, it did. So I thought, okay, we have it in the tea and it worked in in vitro and in, in the mice and rats and it worked in humans, so we must have something. So I formed a company and started to continue the research. In 2013, I sold my company and I put the money, my portion of the money and uh, devoted it to cancer research. I uh, was pretty proud of the work that I have done at Wichita State and what I have learned and put it to work. Um, in order uh, for the young people, uh, like I said, get as much education as you can, work hard, and be determined that failure is not an option. You gotta be a risk taker and you gotta be realistic in your, in your goals and in your dreams and just go after it.